Hey guys and welcome to Little Black Box, you already know what time it is. Um, I want to give you a quick a little thing, I'm going to do five minute word um, and just kind of give you a little word to talk about. I want to talk to you about being chosen, okay, and operating in your chosen lane. Listen, as a child of God, as, as a, a child who's given a life to Christ, I need you to understand that you are special. Yeah, because God handpicked you. I want to start by saying this, Moses, Abraham, Mary, Paul, Peter, John, James, even, 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 who else? Moses, how many other people were there? But all of them were chosen, yet what did they do to be chosen? Nothing. These people were handpicked by God himself. And when God handpicks people and decides to start a work, he's faithful and just to finish it. I want you to understand the grace is meaning that it's undeserved. None of, nobody deserved God pick, handpicking them. But because of grace, because of Christ's sacrifice, God handpicks certain people and then calls them and qualifies them and sends them back out. Your gift that you have is so important in order to reach the multitude with the ministry of reconciliation, a universal calling, to reach a final purpose, which is to worship God. So in everything you're doing, your gift and your calling, they should match up to the purpose, which is to worship God, to be in a relation and fellowship with God. And so I want to let you know, listen, don't worry about when you're going to actually be at the forefront. Work quietly in the background, create the detail that when you step into the foreground, we see you. Listen, God waits for that appointed time to reach you. He just... He likes to take his time and appoint you at the right time because if you're not ready, you can mess things up. I mean, if you look at someone like Moses, Moses took 40 years before he became the actual leader of the Jews. If you look at Jesus, it took him 30 years before he actually went into ministry. Joseph was 30 before he became a prime minister. David was 30 before he became a king. Like he was anointed at 17 or 15 or whatever years he was. It took a time before he got to the position that he was in at the time. Paul said that conferred with no man and no flesh. And it took him, what, three years before he actually went to speak to any of the disciples. So deep it that people, God is, per, 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 um, God is telling you to wait for the appointed time that he's going to make you shine. But in that time when you're not shining, what are you doing in the background? The Bible says that David was out with the sheep and he tended to the sheep. He killed lions and bears. That was for a preparation and time that when he would come, the leader of Israel, he would kill giants. You understand? There's a time and a season for all these things underneath the sun. So what are you doing in your background? Don't be concerned about people running ahead of you and they're like, oh, they're going really fast and everybody's doing things and I'm not doing anything. Listen, concentrate on what God has called you to do. Concentrate on your mission right now. Right now, God is calling you to do what? You understand? And stay in that lane. Listen, the only reason why you're dipping in someone else's lane is because you feel you're not special and you feel they are special. And so you're dipping into that lane. But I'm letting you know, God has called you. And if he's called you, that means he's chosen you. If he's chosen you, the Bible says that no man can come unto God unless he, except he calleth them. Except he calls you, you can't come. So deep it that if you've come, God has chosen you. And if he's chosen you, listen, you are handpicked. That you are not a small feat. That you are not insignificant. That you are not a, a, a dust in the wind in terms of what in God's eyes. Because God knows who you are. In fact, the Bible says that when we become born again, God now knows who we are. That doesn't mean he didn't know us who we were before, before. But now he knows who we are in the sense of we have a relationship. You understand? And so I want you to understand, listen, you are special. You may not be seen right now. You may be hidden right now. But it's for a time and a season that when you come to the forefront, you've done the work and the preparation, your character's right, your, your understanding's right, your knowledge is right, so that when you get to the top, your wisdom can excel. Amen? So guys, I want to just let you know, if you're chosen, it is cho that's God choosing you. The Bible says that we were yet sinners, yet he loved us. He came to us. He first loved us, and so we love him. Deeper that we didn't do anything first, he did it first. Deeper that he chose you first. The Bible says we're saved by grace through faith. Yes, both of these are a gift. God gave you the gift. Deeper, the Bible says that he's going to change hearts from stone into flesh. He's doing the work. That's what he's doing. So all you got to do is that the Bible says, I, I, you know what? By grace I am what I am, but I worked harder than all of them. So when you get to that space where God has called you to be in that open door, now you work hard. Now you work hard. Now you work hard. And now. You work hard. And that is where God will then begin to push you even further in that lane. Past many people who you thought were running very fast. The Bible says run your race and throw off every weight that hinders you. Yeah? So guys, that was my little word. I pray that you will be blessed. 
in the name of Jesus. And uh, yeah, man, let me know what you think. Comment down below this message for somebody, pass it to somebody, like, share, subscribe, and please share it with somebody who needs us. Amen. Yeah, boom.